checking Twitter on several different official. Oh. Oh. I believe it just happened there. That was it. Live, raw, and unfiltered. It appears that that China spy balloon. Briefed on the balloon. I ordered the Pentagon to shoot it down on Wednesday as soon as possible. They decided without doing damage to anyone on, on the ground. They decided that the best time to do that was as it got over water outside within our within 12 mile limit. They successfully took it down and I want to compliment our aviators who did it and we'll have more to report on this uh, a little later. Thank you. This Mr. President, what did you say about China? You were saying the recommendation from your was from your national security. I told them to shoot it down. Oh, Wednesday. On Wednesday. But the recommendation They from said to me, let's wait till the safest place to do it. What does this mean for China, in relation to China? Our My God, that was beautiful. That was Subarashi. The way he looked up at the sky, he saw that communist trinket look like a cherry. And he popped China's cherry. And then he was so happy about it, declaring victory. Almost like uh, retreating from Afghanistan successfully gave me those vibes. So, too bad he didn't respond to the actual important question, which is like uh, how the relationships with China are going to go. Well, you don't need to worry about that. Okay, like that's behind closed doors. You, you, you're the public. You, you need to stop thinking. We'll do the thinking for you. Also, from what I understand, that missile costed about two hundred thousand dollars. Not very cost effective, but you know, had to be done. Now, on Twitter, there have been many interesting people which uh, were saying one thing yesterday, another thing today, but I think I found the most interesting person that I have ever found on Twitter. So I censored the name because uh, I do not want to be accused of harassment. And I like criticism to these people is harassment, actual harassment is murder. We don't want any of that here. It doesn't matter who they are. Right? Like, anyone that closes their eyes can visualize this person on Twitter because you have interacted with one of them. Without the name, you actually can't imagine the situation occurring, right? I'm doing what Hollywood likes to do. It's called representation. In this video, I am representing the NPCs, giving a voice to the marginalized. Look at this. Republican politicians saying we should just shoot down the spy balloon do not understand the complexity of the situation. The situation is complex. Do they think they know more than the professionals in our military? And I want you to look at this, all right? 4th of February this year, 14.9 thousand views. 2, 11 p.m. All right, like how much time do you think it takes until this person changes their mind? 38 minutes, chat. 38 freaking minutes, complete 180. This is the new software patch update. If any of you use AI, a character AI, for example, or chat GPT. And you notice when the software update kicks in and all of a sudden it changes their personality completely. This is what I'm witnessing here. Breaking the Chinese spy balloon has been shut down. Thank you, President Biden, and importantly, to our terrific military. This is, my God, like this is so beautiful. Now, when you go on Twitter, you will see this happening. Like you will see people have one opinion and then completely change that opinion, do a 180, showing that they have no principles. But it usually happens like within a year. And it's, when it's within a year, right, you put one article from the Trump administration and another article from the Biden administration, noticing the exact same thing, and one saying it's horrible, one saying it's good. But like, you know, it's been one year. Maybe they have time to meditate. Maybe they change their mind. You see articles that happen months across. Like, for example, a, pre a person saying it's the pandemic. Horrible. We need to stay indoors. Like, if you don't stay indoors, you kill grandma. It's the pandemic, but now there's BLM protests. You need to go outside. Going outside is important. Everyone should go outside. And it's the same person saying these two things, right? But, like, it's within a couple of months' distance. And, again, like, maybe they had time to meditate, to think about it. But, like, when it's 38 minutes apart. 38 freaking minutes. 38 minutes. And also, uh, it highlights how... Some people literally worship the experts as if the, the experts aren't human beings. They do not have self-interest. Corruption doesn't exist in the world. They can never be wrong on something. No, if an expert said something, then that is the official stance and it's always correct. Now, what's interesting 
is that this does not apply to the police. Because the police officers are experts in tackling crimes. They are the professionals when it comes to handle criminal activity. Yet every single time it happens, the journalists, oh, they know better than the cops. Why didn't the cop shoot the taser? Why didn't the police officer shoot the weapon out of the hand of the criminal? Could have saved the life. Why, why didn't he like tase that person while doing a backflip? Why didn't he use VAT? I remember that. Like there was uh, an incident in the ghettos where one girl was about to stab another girl. The normal conversation would be, why did that girl have a knife? And uh, how did the parents manage to raise such a successful individual? But like the police officer saw that, took down the threat, and the media was like, why didn't he use VAT? You know, like... Why did they shoot the weapon out of the hand of the perp? So anyway, right. Um, I really love people who are like, oh, the professionals, oh, the experts. As if you can't have an opinion. You know, at this point, why not just put the professional and the experts in charge of the government? Like, wh why even have politicians? Just put the general, right? Like the, the four-star or the five-star general in this situation. Put them in charge of the country. Because they're the professionals. Like, why do you need a civilian to make decisions? They don't understand anything. Civilians can make wrong decisions. The military is the expert. You know, it horrifies me that when I go on Twitter, I have to debate with these people. And it's like part of my job. But you understand why it's difficult, right? It's like, how can you debate with such a person that doesn't have principles? That, that like, gets the software update, completely changes their views on things. Within 30 minutes. Like, like the power the person making the software update must have. And by the way, um, when the NPC meme came out, they were saying it's dehumanizing and it's horrible. And apparently, like, the NPC meme isn't something new. Uh, before that, during the French Revolution, they were called marionette men. Right? Like, they didn't have computers back then, but they did have, like, the puppet shows with the marionettes. You pull the string, the marionette dances according to the strings being pulled. This is what we're seeing. Like, literally, someone is pulling their strings and they're moving in the correct directions given to them. Unless they're being paid. Like, if they're being paid, then I understand. You know, it's a job. Like, you, you have to say the correct things. But even then, if I was paid in order to shill for the U.S. military, I would have done a better job. You know, at least wait more than 30 minutes. <laughs> or at least delete the previous tweet or something. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. As usual, I'll see you in the comment section. And if you like the channel, there's a link into the pinned comment. That will take you to my live stream channel. Yes, I do have one. Hopefully you guys subscribe and you'll see me live streaming. I've been told the streams are hilarious.